medicine over the years has been inspired by natural products. Um, and I wonder if you can uh, tell me, are there any stones that have not been turned yet? Are there any new areas to explore? Um, yes, I think so. And there is a huge potential. Uh, natural products in the past have started from uh, products coming from plants, medicinal plants uh, primarily. Then people went to uh, microorganisms, microbes, with the discovery of penicillin, which comes from a microorganism. So they have been mining that for the years. Uh, but a huge untapped uh, biodiversity of microorganisms is, uh, is present in our oceans, uh, which uh, have not been explored. And um, the problem with that was uh, that these uh, microorganisms are n not as culturable as the ones we're used to work with uh, in the lab. Mm -hmm. And so new techniques of culturing them uh, and, and using uh, salt environments and stuff like that. So um, in the last couple of years, uh, Bill Fennekel at Scripps Oceanography has been starting to mine uh, these uh, microorganisms primarily from deep ocean sediments and uh, his colleague is now a colleague of mine, Judy Southwestern, uh, has continued that research and uh, they have found uh, an entire series of new uh, uh, small molecules or natural products as you would call them from those organisms and, uh, and uh, I think that is going to represent a completely entire new class of uh, collection of natural products. Uh, that could potentially have an uh, impact on, on medicine. That's great. Um, is there anything in particular that you think natural products will offer for personalized medicine? Um, yes, um, so uh, targeting a specific biological target that's important uh, in, in populations uh, that have a certain mutation, if we have the biomarkers to do the personalized medicine, uh, will require small molecules or drug candidates uh, to target those. And in that aspect, natural products are um, equally valid uh, as a starting point. Uh, the advance of natural products is uh, potentially that they're way more uh, specific uh, than these uh, small molecules that are uh, made in the, in the pharmaceutical companies. Um, and so we don't really understand yet why that is, but natural products uh, have been co-evolved to interact with, uh, with the protein receptors um, through evolution, so there is something good about them. And so we're, if we could learn exactly what the attributes of those are, that would be great. But they have, in general, much higher specificity, so less off-target effects. And that way you can target uh, exactly in a personalized way uh, or modify um, the biological pathway that's, uh, that's of importance there with more specificity.